Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to connect an Allen & Heath mixer to your boom box via Ethernet. This diagram shows how the connections are made. The USB controller on the left will be sending MIDI to the DLive mixer on the right via the network connection. In this example, no MIDI translation will be used. We configure the boom box over wireless. In this example, I'm using a MacBook but you can use any device that supports Wi-Fi and has a web browser. The BoneBox Wi-Fi will be set up as a hotspot and the Ethernet will be set up with a fixed IP address. Within the DLI director software, set up the address of your mixer shown here. You can use a different IP address if you want. I'm using this one because it happens to be free on my network. Make sure the subnet mask is configured correctly on your network. The bone box comes factory configured for Wi-Fi as a hotspot. If Wi-Fi is not enabled, all you'll need to do is push the Wi-Fi button on your bone box to enable it. Once your browser is connected to bone box, log in and go to the settings page and then to the Ethernet tab. Set up your bone box for a fixed IP address with 192.168.0.1 and a net mask of 255.255.255.0. This will ensure your network address and mask is compatible with how you set it up on the DLive mixer earlier. Be sure to hit save. Navigate to your Allen & Heath page. Make sure you enable Allen & Heath Network MIDI. Also, check auto-enable devices when they get discovered and auto-create MIDI routes from all other MIDI ports to discovered Allen & Heath devices. Now connect your mixer to the network. After a few seconds, you should see the Allen & Heath device connected as shown here. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at forum.boom.com.